actually started my weight loss journey with home workouts. I didn't enter the gym until last year. I successfully lost over 60 pounds with home workouts. On my overall journey, I have lost a total of 113 pounds. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to get started with home workouts, how to get started with exercising at home, what to look for in a home workout plan, because to tell you the truth, I've done this for so long, I'm like the queen of home workouts. So home workouts are a great tool to help you, you know, get over the anxiety of working out. It, it allows you to work out in a space that is safe. It's like a safe space at home where you're able to kind of, you know, set yourself aside, set the time aside, and you're alone. Sometimes the gym can be intimidating or distracting for the beginning of anyone's weight loss journey. And I'm here to say that it's okay if you are uncomfortable going to the gym or if you can't afford to go to the gym, there are plenty of options to work out at home. Now, let's get into it. So when you're looking for a home workout plan, you want to make sure that it's at least a month long and you want to make sure it's structured. You want to make sure that whoever you're getting your home workout plan from, that they have a calendar that you can follow and that you are keeping track of how well you're doing throughout the exercises. The reason why you want to keep track is to motivate yourself to keep going. I know when I first started doing home workouts, I could barely barely finished the home workout program I was doing. I started my home workout journey with Beachbody On Demand, also known as Body Now. And I remember doing, I think the workout program was, it was an MMA style program with, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Joel and Jericho. I, I, I think it's called Core De Force. And I remember I couldn't keep up and I couldn't do it. And that's okay. If you start a program and you press play and you can't keep up with the people on the screen, don't worry. Just do what you can. Don't quit. If you got to take breaks and then come back in, that's fine. What will happen is you'll see over time, once you stay consistent with it, you'll see that you'll be able to start to keep up. You'll notice that your stamina is increasing. You'll notice that like, hey, I remember when I couldn't do that, but now I can do it. That is the biggest motivator to yourself when you see yourself progressing throughout your home workout journey. Now, how many workouts should you start off during the week? It depends on the program. If it's a high intense program, um, probably you got to do a little more, but let's backtrack for a bit. It's best to start off with beginner style workouts. You want to find a beginner series so you can ease yourself into it. There are plenty of YouTubers out there that provide good content for working out. I highly recommend Caroline Gervin. She is great for this. Another person who comes to mind is Kristen QuickFit. I've been, I've done her workouts before. I used to be part of her fit squad. She has a great community out there where they do Zoom workouts together. I love doing Zoom workouts with her. And I remember doing Zoom workouts with Marcella Reyes, just having that little community of people who are, you know, dedicated to their fitness, starting off their fitness. They may not be like, a, you know, a master fitness or a master athlete, but they're showing up and showing up for themselves. So it's great to look for that. How many times should you start working out a week? I suggest the way I started exercising from home, actually before Beachbody, is that I started walking. I started going on half an hour walks three times a week. And as my stamina increased, that turned to an hour walk three times a week. And then I increased the frequency of walking. So it became four times a week. And then eventually when walking was too easy for me, this is me starting off at 282 pounds, by the way, I then started running. And then from there, that's when I started honing things down and I started looking at workout programs to do. So yeah, that's how you should get started with your workout journey. Stick to it. If you're struggling, don't worry. Soreness will be a thing. To help with soreness, I highly recommend eating a lot of protein. Perhaps get a protein powder. Make sure it's a low calorie protein powder, especially if you're starting your weight loss journey. I like to use Limitless Whey. It's 120 calories, I believe, and it tastes delicious. Protein powders do help with recovery and um, making sure that your diet is sorted out. We'll talk about diet in another video. This video is gonna focus on exercising. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little 
quick tip video um, with home workouts. Let me know if you've done home workout programs, which ones have you done below. I've done tons of Caroline Gerben's home workout programs. I've worked with Marcel Areas. I did 80 Day Obsession from Body. I've done so many home workouts, four weeks of the work that's on my YouTube channel. I've done that, a lot of workout programs. And don't be afraid of your modification game. It's okay to modify if you need to. It's okay to take breaks. The most important thing is to never give up. And remember, exercise, we don't exercise to lose weight. We exercise to feel good. We exercise for our mental health. We exercise for our self-esteem. We exercise for our overall health, those endorphins. That's why we exercise. Because when we're able to move around and not feel tired going up a flight of stairs, you feel invincible. You feel on top of the world. This is more than just physical. It's a holistic journey. And I want you to approach your weight loss journey like this. It's a holistic transformation from within. It's about defeating all of the narratives in your head that got you to where you are right now, where you are not satisfied with your weight because you may have been struggling with overeating or may have been struggling with difficult times. It's your time to turn it around and make it happen for yourself just like I've done it, just like many people have done it. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. On my journey, I've had tons of obstacles okay i worked out through chronic pain debilitating chronic pain so if i can do it you can definitely do it show up for you anyway if you made it this far into the video just drop in some exercise emojis and i'm sending you mad love take care this is our year let's rock it bye